What's up YouTube? It has been a hot minute, but I am here right now <laughs> and I just wanted to make a video to kind of update you on my life and just kind of um, I have a little bit of a story and a little bit of encouragement. So yeah, let's get into it. I just want to go into my story, which kind of leads into somewhat of an update of my life, but yeah, we'll do the story first. So last night was student life at my church, which is essentially youth like the youth service and I was asked to well I was doing I was helping out with worship and I was asked to say a little something um during worship and so I <laughs> it was Rastro making his cameo so I just wanted to share with you what um I shared with the kids and so last night I just said how you know as a worship leader or as leaders youth leaders whatever people tend to look at us and just think that we live like this perfect life where you know we don't make mistakes we don't go through things when really it's the opposite we totally go through things I am human I make mistakes and so I then touched on more of a personal level and I had shared how Earlier this month, I had gone through something that was um, life-changing and it was not a fun thing to go through. And it's not something that I need to like go into detail just because there's no need. But I would definitely tell myself like, it's okay, you're gonna get through it. Let's just count it all joy because I know that God has my best interest in mind when things happen and I truly believe everything happens for a reason, that he has a plan and everything. Um, even though if it's something that's tough, there's a reason behind it. And so I was like, okay, God, you know, you have ordained my steps and there's a reason for this. So I just thank you. I told the kids how it started to get hard to convince myself of that. You know, like it, I would try to tell myself like, it's okay, you're okay. But um, I definitely started to feel like maybe like it was my fault that this happened to me. That um, if I maybe had done something differently, it wouldn't have happened. Maybe if I was prettier, this wouldn't have happened. Like, you know, just a little, like anything that made me feel like what could I have done to prevent this from happening that was definitely the devil coming in and just filling my head with lies making it seem like it was my fault making me feel like it was my fault when really it wasn't and you know I had shared um the verse John 10 10 with them which says that the devil comes in like a thief in the night to kill steal and destroy and that that's definitely what he was doing he was coming into my mind and just really trying to make me feel awful and um, I had also shared the verse that says, it's Philippians 4.13 that says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you know, like just saying that when God is on your side, as cliche as that sounds, like really you're, you can get through it. And so um, I had told them how my roommate Gian and I would always be like, not today, Satan. When I started to feel sad or depressed or whatever, like we'd be like, not today, devil. Tell the devil not today. And literally like that same week, Josh, who is the um, band director at my church, texted me and was like hey we're doing not today learn it you're gonna sing it whatever so I listened to it and it literally says like tell the devil not today it that was just I told the kids like it was just confirmation that God was telling me like indeed that the devil was trying to come in and mess with me but I just needed to say you know I needed to have my guard up and be like no I can't let you come in and fill my head with lies and so I just told the kids that like I pray that this song becomes an anthem over your life so when you start to feel like you know maybe the devil is trying to tempt you or trying to tell you like make you feel bad about yourself like that you just speak this you know over your life and after that song we were doing this song called tremble and um i spoke a little bit about that song as well because it it says it has a lyric in it that says something along the lines of like how god calms the sea he can ca call the sea to be still just like he can call the rage inside of you to be still and it's just like so crazy that you know the god that the same god that can literally call the sea to relax and calm down can do that for you too i had shared how you know well in the message last night for the kids there was like a little part that talked about anxiety and depression and i had just shared how that's very real for like a lot of people it's not something to be ashamed of and you know that God does not call us to live in fear or to have a spirit of fear but to have power and a sound mind and I shared um, Psalms 46 which I'm going to read right now I'll read Psalms 46 8 through 10 it says come behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth he makes wars cease to the ends of the earth he breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two he burns the chariot in the fire be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the earth. 
and I just shared that because I feel like that's a great verse to I personally try to live by it. I am somebody who struggles really badly with depression and anxiety and um, I am constantly telling myself, you know, um, Psalms 46.10, which is the be still and know that I'm God part. I have a, uh, a picture on my wall that has that verse on it. Um, if I ever did a tattoo, that's probably what it's gonna be like. I am just constantly trying to tell myself that, but I feel like lately it's become just words to me and I stopped believing it. And so last night when I got home, I was feeling really good about last night, you know, like the kids seemed to receive it really well. A couple of them shared with me that, you know, they enjoyed the service and what I had to say. And I was just very grateful to God that he was able to use me like that to, um, that he put that word in my heart to share with the kids and I probably laid in bed around 10 30 and immediately as soon as I was alone I started to feel just a rush of anxiety over me and um it was strange because I experienced like the cookie cutter panic attacks like exactly what you would expect a panic attack to be like is what I have I hyperventilate I cry I shake I throw up I like can't breathe I usually need my inhaler to help me but um last night was not like that it was very much i was it was so strange i was like calm but my heart was racing my palms were sweaty and my hands were shaking but i everything else was like normal like it was so strange like on the outside i seemed very calm but i knew like something is like i had fear i was really scared last night and i was like it's okay just like go to sleep and so like i tried i i probably was only able to lay with the lights off for like 10 minutes before i was like i can't like i need to turn everything back on so i turned all my lights back on and i texted my roommate and i was like dude my anxiety is through the roof right now and I this was probably now closer to like 1 30 and um, I texted my mom she called me and prayed for me and I knew I had to be up for work at 6 and I was like I don't know what to do like I can't go to sleep I don't want to have to go to work tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the morning and so I was just like very much like I don't know what to do and I started to like tell myself like Nicolette you literally just spoke about this tonight like believe it believe it and you know i would always say when i would speak i used to speak a lot um at my youth group back home and i would always truly believe that whatever message god put on my heart was not only something that like the kids needed to hear but me personally i needed it too and so this one is something that i try to live by so i didn't think that but little did i know that god knew that i was probably going to be tested that the devil was going to come after me i made him very angry i made the devil very mad speaking that to the kids and speaking truth to them like he did not like that and so he came after me the second I was alone, he was creeping up in my mind and you know, trying to scare me and it was working. And this morning, like when I woke up, I was feeling fine. I ended up pulling out of work today to take a mental health day, which I love that that's a thing nowadays. It's um, not really a thing with your job, but like people are just like, I'm taking a mental health day today because there tends to be a stigma around mental illness and people tend to be ashamed of it and I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of because a lot of people go through it and so I was able to accept that I needed to rejuvenate and just be with myself and God today and you know Janeshka came over and Gianna we all like I shared with them what was on my heart I shared with them everything that I'm sharing with you and it was just awesome to like you know kind of have that time like that little God talk together and I guess like the reason I'm sharing this is because one it'll be a nice reminder for me you know to know that I can't just treat that verse as just words that i need to truly live by it i need to believe it myself but also because like i know that there's people that struggle with this as well and i just always want to be able to be up here with you guys like and show you like i can get how i get through it and that i am getting through it and that you can too and a lot of people i've had people straight up tell me like that they don't like how transparent i am on social media but that's okay because i do it not for attention not for people to feel bad for me not to be like oh my god she has anxiety or depression no because it's not something to feel bad for me about it's not something that defines me it's just something that i struggle with sometimes the reason i'm so open with my depression and anxiety is because i know that there's people out there that also go through it and some of you don't know god and some of you don't know what to do to you know be okay and so i like to share how i'm getting through it so that way it can help others and i love the messages that i get from some of you just telling me you know one asking me to pray for you or you know just giving just sharing with me how some of my posts have helped you you know that's why i do what i do i don't do it for attention i do it simply um to inspire and to be a light to the world which is what i'm called as a christian to do yeah that's i that's why i just really felt on my heart to share this experience with you guys because it's real it's something i struggle with and um it's something that I'm getting through and it's really with God on my side and as cheesy as that sounds like it's the truth like without him you know I'm out here 
living by myself I don't have my family out here so like when I get this way the only person I can really turn to is God um, so he really is what's getting me through my days <laughs> but um, yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys I know this video is not what you're used to seeing on my channel I know it's long because I talked a lot I hope you enjoyed it and I'm I'm going to try to vlog more oh water phone just okay I'm going to try to vlog more it's just hard you know i live i moved i want to do an apartment tour soon but my room isn't finished i want to finish my room first then i'll do one and i want to vlog more but i now that i have this new apartment it's literally my job is like on the other side of this wall basically and so i just don't from work home and church so i just like don't want to give you guys boring vlogs of me at home not doing anything so once i start to do themes again i will vlog some more but anyway I'm just rambling on now, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to me, you should go and do that, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.